production. Introducing first in the corner to my right, weighing in at 163 pounds from Minneapolis, Minnesota, she is Denise Storm. Dangerous Denise Storm being and introduced. Her opponent hails from Austin, Texas. Weighing in at 210 pounds, she is Susan Green. Referee for this bout is Bruce Kreitzman. Down the ring right. side for all the action. Denise, Look at this. Dangerous Denise. Denise Storm has started out wild. There are two big ones and two bad ones in the ring today, Joe. And uh, trying to sneak attack Susan Green. Green's not going to put up with that. Now, Green doesn't even have her jacket off yet, and we're already into this match, Jim. Brother, I'll tell you what. This is the opening round of the LPWA Japanese Championship Tournament. One of the first round matches, and it's started off with a bang, brother. They are going nuts. Dangerous Denise Storm, my favorite in the tournament. I think she's going to take it. But Susan Green, the big cowgirl from Texas, she is going to do everything in her power to make this a Donnybrook and to go on and advance to the second round. All right, they're outside the ring right now. The referee is tolling the count. Whoa. But Denise Storm was just running at first. Whoa. And then Susan Green runs into that steel metal pole shoulder first. And now it's which one got hurt the worst. It looks like most of the damage went to Susan Green on this. And now Denise Storm just throws her in again. Brother, I'll tell you what. Dangerous Denise started it out. Susan Green retaliated, but now Denise has gained the advantage when Susan Green went shoulder first into that ring post. And right now, finally back in the ring. That referee, he's not only a customer of the hair club for men, but he's also the president. <laughs> So Susan Green is in some trouble right now. Denise Storm attacked from behind to start the match. Green had quite a nice comeback outside the ring, but she took two uh, times she went into that ring post. But it looks like now she's trying to come back once more. And that's three times she's been able to nail Denise Storm before Denise could get anything in. That last boot may have caught her a little low. Don't know whether it matters, but Susan Green so far has been able to hold her own despite having been run into that ring post. One, two, one. Denise, now what, what, is, what was she doing to her boot just now, Jim? Guys, she must have been tying her boot. I don't know what she was doing. Maybe her boot came untied. That's the yeah, only so thing she, I can imagine. So she just took a time out there in the middle of the ring to tie it back, right? Well, it's very dangerous. Didn't your mother ever tell you to keep your shoes tied? You could trip and break your neck. Right, right now, referee Bruce Kretschmann checking to see whether or not Susan Green wants to submit. Hey, come on, break it up. One, two, three. A blatant choke Four. hold. The, the referee trying to up. count Denise Storm two, off, but every three. time she lets go, she goes right back to it. Now she's pulling Storm up. Neil Storm brings her over, and you notice that she's got her by the hair as she's doing it. That's twice. Now she's going after the arm Susan, of Susan Green. Come no, no. Green, what do you say? Come no, no. your arm. Come here in the bell. Oh, you can hear them screaming, Joe. They're giving it everything they've got. First round match. Whoever wins this match has to go on, and if they want to win the tournament, what do you say? has to wrestle and win twice more All right, today. You, you mentioned earlier that right here on the Super Ladies Showdown, whoever wins this Japanese title of the LPWA is going to have to win three matches today. I mean, think about that. Three times in one day, they're going to have to be victorious to walk away with that title. That's exactly right. And, and see, you, you see, Dangerous Denise once again trying to tie her boots because she seems to be having a little problem with her equipment. But she's got Susan Green locked up. Come on, Susan, what do you say? Give it up. Susan in the arm bar, Dangerous Denise. All right, Denise. I love that angle. Yeah, she's pulling, pulling her up by the hair. Throws Green in and comes off with a huge 
clothesline that took Susan Green to the mat. And now Denise Storm trying for a cover. She doesn't get it. Susan Green is not ready. And look at there. You're right. I do believe her boot laces are untied. Sure are, and brother. Now she's going up the top rope. She's going to the top. This is her big move. Her gut shot. Susan Green caught her in the guts. Well, I think Denise Storm thought that Susan Green was hurt more than she was and went for that big move off the top rope. Susan Green, though. She's throwing her right out of the ring, right out on the floor. Now, there she goes. Now we see that she is tying that boot lace. The referee telling Susan Green she's going to have to back up and let Denise get back in the ring. Wait a minute. She's doing more than tying a boot lace. What? What would she be doing? I have no idea. Susan Green tying up with a referee. In the meantime, Denise Storm getting some rest on the outside, but now Green goes after Storm. Susan Green bringing Denise Storm back in the ring the hard way. Has her backed up in the ropes. Sends her off across the ring. And a big backdrop. Denise Storm down. You know, a lot of controversy in the wrestling world over who is Rush Limbaugh's favorite woman wrestler. Is it Denise Storm or Terry Power? And that's something maybe we ought to try to ask Rush. I know he's a big LPWA fan, and we ought to try and find out because a lot of people say Denise Storm is his favorite wrestler. Well, you know, Rush Limbaugh has the EIB Network while I'm starting my EIW, Excellence in Wrestling Network. Right Joe, here. don't expect Come to be on, a part of it. Right here, the LPWA is a tremendous place if you're going to show excellence. Look at this. Ah, she's pulling her hair out by the roots. The referee just yanked Susan Green back. And now Susan Green and the referee are getting into it. In the meantime, in the meantime, the corner, wait a minute. I knew she was doing more than just tying up her boots. She's got a chain. Bingo! Holy mother! She mother. had a chain and now just throws it away. Referee didn't see it. fish. She I looks like a Mrs. Paul's filet. I knew all of those times she was going down to that boot. I knew that she was trying to do more than just lace up those boot straps. She had a chain in her boot and she just used it to lay out Susan Green. And I, let me tell you something. The referee needs to keep a closer eye on Denise Storm in the rest of this tournament. Well, let me just tell you now, Joe, what actually happened. Oh, what actually God happened. Please. Dangerous Denise Storm had a, had a bracelet, a bracelet around her wrist, something like this gold watch that she forgot to take off before she entered the ring. She was trying to keep Susan Green from stealing that bracelet, so she was holding on to it. She hit her with the other hand, did not use a foreign object. The winner of the match is Dangerous yeah, Denise Storm. Right. Let's go to our next yeah, bit got of business here Bonnie today. Blackstone is standing.